I'm gonna walk you through what I do that's so innovative and unique. It's really revolutionary. Eventually other physicians, providers, uh, and other professionals in the healthcare space are going to find out about this and start doing this. But as a health and performance optimizing physician, somebody whose passion is to take human beings and biologically optimize, this is how I do it. With this innovative biomarkers that mostly utilize MRIs. Many of you have already had MRIs, but you've never had them used in this particular way. They're looking for disease to make money. What if we used MRIs to look inside human beings to get them healthy? If these biomarkers even aren't even read by physicians, not even read by radiologists, they don't even track this. So let's take a look, and we're gonna start right now with the first and really important scan, and that is through your abdomen, looking at the substance called visceral fat. So visceral fat shows up, any kind of fat on an MRI shows up as white. And the dark tissues on the sides here are really uh, muscle tissue. The, the uh, darker, t these are also dark um, muscle tissue as well, and the muscles in the back. This is the belly button by way of orientation. All this white inside here is the deep abdominal fat that's also called belly fat or visceral fat. The technical term we call is vita, uh, visceral adipose tissue. We're just gonna call it visceral fat or belly fat. So this visceral fat, for clarification, is the deadly stuff. So we paint it red in this particular graphic here and the yellow on the outside is fat on your outside called subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is mostly benign, doesn't cause really much harm. Uh, so there's not a significant advantage when you get rid of it. Uh, unlike visceral fat, causes a lot of harm. So there's a huge amount of damage and benefit, rather, uh, when you get rid of it. So visceral fat's really important to pay attention. Two factors about, uh, about visceral fat you need to know. It's quantity, how much you have, and length of exposure. So if you just suddenly acquire a lot of visceral fat, and you, you're not gonna have a lot of problems. Or if you have a tiny bit of visceral fat, you're not gonna have a lot of problems. The worst combination is the slow accumulation of visceral fat that you've had over a long period of time that causes so much harm. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at what, what we find when we, we delve into visceral fat. So right away in this scan, it's a series of scans, okay? So this is the belly button. This is the patient lying down on his back. This is week zero when they first come in. It's a 68 year old guy and he's got a belly shape like most 68 year old guys, a belly that sticks out. Visceral fat elevated right there in the center in red. You can also see this fatty deposition within his oblique muscles here on the side. And in two weeks, two weeks, he's eliminated a visible, apparent, apparently visible amount of visceral fat in this particular scan in just two weeks. You don't have to go to medical school. You don't have to be a radiologist. You, who, you are who you are and you can see that difference right there. So you need to benefit from the elimination of visceral fat. Now in this case, check this out. He got a little bit more visceral fat week five. How'd that happen? He started cheating. He got a little com uh, complacent, started thinking he got this and could get away. But the MRI detected the cheating. And what happened when he was shown it? He was caught and he, was, it was, he changed his ways. So he went back to no longer cheating and look at this visceral fat got diminished, this got diminished, and look how little visceral fat he ended up after 35 weeks, significant reduction, about 70% of his visceral fat uh, was, almost 70% was, was eliminated. And look, his muscles grew, he got a six pack. Now here's the important thing. He did not exercise one minute, no exercise. This shows you it is all about diet, way more than exercise. Yeah, exercise matters, and yeah, I exercise, and yeah, if you're gonna work with me as my client, you're gonna exercise. But before you do that, you're gonna waste your time if you think you're gonna exercise yourself out of this kind of a problem just by exercising without changing your diet. So significant change, and oh, by the way, that red streak, gone, and it's nice, now his muscles are beautiful. So the one thing he did, how do you get rid of that visceral fat? Just did one thing, he eliminated processed foods. So you're gonna, you're going to need to cut out processed foods, and we're gonna track this if you work with me to make sure that visceral fat goes away. I am the world's expert on getting rid of visceral fat. I know how to do that, I know how to track it, and I'll help you with that. 
So the second thing you need to take a look at is this scan right here. This is a scan through the center of his chest. These dark oblong shaped structures are the right and left lung fields. Right in the middle of your lungs is your heart. Now in this case, he's got an encasement of pericardial fat. That big, remember fat shows up as white, big chunk of fat around his heart. And now look at the elimination of that visceral fat. Time period between this scan and this scan, just 13 weeks. Wouldn't you like to get rid of a big inflammatory chunk of fat around your heart in just 13 weeks? You can if you stop eating processed foods. You're probably not going to do this though unless you get scanned and see that you got a problem. That's why scanning is so important. It's the problem you know about and see that you're certain you have that you're going to work on. If it's just speculative, you're not going to work to get rid of it. Now let's take a look at what happens with the uh, also, the same process that causes visceral fat, how it causes, remember those fatty streaks that were also seen in the muscle right there? Let's take a look how this happens and elsewhere in your body. So here's the abdomen filled in a particular client that came to me, filled with visceral fat, and these are his legs. After a period of time, we were looking at tracking muscles with professional athletes, and we kept knowing the professional athletes didn't have these white streaks. But the older clients, we would scan, look at their muscle, try to deal with sarcopenia, did. And so guess what it correlates to? Visceral fat. So the same process causing this in inflammatory uh, fat within your abdomen causes this inflammatory uh, deposition of these fatty streaks in your legs. Wouldn't you like to know if you're getting that? Because it's this inflammatory process that starts to contribute to sarcopenia and you're going to be an old man or an old lady with skinny little legs and your legs are going to be shaking when you're walking around your arms will be shaking when you move around because you're filled with this inflammatory fat that also causes this infiltration within your legs so we're about optimization here when you work with me i'm going to scan your abdomen take a look what's going on inside i'm going to scan your skeletal muscle take a look what's going on inside now let's look at the outside how that changes that same client with his abdomen right here, these are his legs, this is what his belly looks like. Interest, interesting though, in five months when he got rid of his, his visceral fat in just five months working, eliminating processed foods and the other strategies that identified over 10 years of research, or researching for the National Science Foundation, I've identified the very best strategies to get rid of visceral fat and to reverse chronic disease. Look at that downward change. Now, some young guys, you're probably watching right now if you're young of them, will say, uh, that guy's just sucking his abdomen. Let me tell you something. When you get to be 50, 60 years old, you're not going to be able to suck in your abdomen anymore because you will have had sarcopenia. Your muscles have atrophied and you're not going to be able to suck it in. This is not sucking in. This is disease where you can't hold it in anymore. But when you get rid of that visceral fat, you repair your muscles, then you can start keeping your abdomen in. So I got news for you. If you think that's sucking in, just because you can do that when you're young, you're not going to be able to do that when you're older if because you're going to accumulate visceral fat. If you want to prevent visceral fat, hang with me, work with me, and I'll get rid of it so you don't have that as a problem. Now let's take a look at the, the, the difference, okay? When this guy goes from here to here, that big belly down here, this is the change. So he had that visceral fat in the bottom image and he reduced that visceral fat. So just a small amount of visceral fat has a significant change in how you look on the outside of your body. So a dad bod, that just says, I suck at living. I don't know how to have discipline. I don't know how to eat healthy. I eat whatever the heck I wanna eat. And then you end up with an abdomen like it. Okay, so you're young and you're beautiful and you think you can do that check back with me in 30 years and let's see how you look. You're not gonna look like that. You're gonna accumulate this visceral fat. You might get away with it now, but it's not gonna happen for long. So this is a big change. We track change, we're about optimization. This next scan shows a really good abdominal MRI compared to the really bad one that we looked at before. This guy has, pay attention now, the single best abdominal MRI I've seen after 6,000 abdominal MRIs. Who's this, who is this guy? He's an Olympic sprinter. He's giving me his permission to show, us, show him off, so might as well give him creds. At Matadi, M-A-T-A-D-I, at Matadi. My boy Matadi, that guy can run. 
He is a sprinter, runs fast, and his abdomen and his muscles with the abdomen show that he's a sprinter. Wall to wall muscle. His visceral fat, that tiny little bit there when we scan him. He's got the, the best muscle to fat ratios optimized I've ever seen of a living human being. Beautiful, look at that. No fatty streaks in that Matadi. My boy Matadi doesn't have any of those fatty streaks. He is super healthy, super optimized. That's what you wanna look like if you have an abdominal MRI. He is the gold standard to follow. A at Matadi, M-A-T-A-D-I. Now check out um, Matadi's legs. Scan through his legs, filet mignon. No fatty streaks in this guy's legs. Beautiful, beautiful, healthy, healthy meat and his bones super healthy, super optimized. So that's your ideal, what you wanna work on as opposed to this particular uh, individual uh, client who we're gonna rescan him and we'll put him back up and he'll be looking better. But visceral fat causes those fatty streaks in your muscles. So you don't wanna have muscles looking like that. Now, you can see this uh, in, during surgical operations and you can go see this in your grocery store because this is what it looks like. A piece, two pieces of steak. This, this, this slide cost me 56 bucks to do that. So two steaks. This, this one here was fed carbohydrates, an unnatural diet. It's fed grain, uh, it was fed corn, molasses, uh, carbohydrates to fatten it up. Why? To make more money. Um, this cow was fed what it's supposed to eat, grass. So when this cow ate what it's supposed to eat, it has this nice healthy muscle. Cows that eat what it isn't gets this fatty infiltrates. And guess what? The same thing happens to humans and the same thing has happened to you. When you eat the wrong kind of food, you get these fatty depositions in your abdomen, visceral fat, and then in your muscle tissue, uh, in your skeletal muscles when you see it. How do you know? You gotta get scanned to find out for sure. So mar meat marbling is super healthy. You wanna eat grass-fed, 100% grass-fed steak, not this inflammatory uh, steak uh, that's been fed for a lot of carbohydrates. Now, here is my favorite scan. Pay attention to this one, super interesting. This is cerebral arteries going through the brain, okay? Brain arteries, so uh, going up on the right side and left side, you see nice flow of blood until right at this point there, the blood stops flowing so good and it starts getting hazy. And the reason is because atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, that's a technical term, term for just clogged arteries or schmutz in the pipes. So your arteries get clogged, the blood doesn't flow as well, and then your brain is not getting the blood supply, nutrients, oxygenation it needs. And then you wonder why you start to lose your memory, why you start, uh, you're not as sharp anymore, and you uh, start, you, you lose your ability to learn. So in this particular case, check out this huge blockage right there in this middle cerebral. Now we see this quite a bit. I encounter this quite a bit. In fact, a few times I catch it and it's missed by the radiologist because I'm looking like crazy. Why? Because I can reverse it. <laughs> Love to do that. Other people, it's lost on them. But this is one of my favorite scans to get done, brain arteries, open up those lesions. How do I open it up? Again, those 41, uh, 41 steps we developed for the National Science Foundation, get rid of visceral fat, open up these arteries. Right there, that's open, and look at this huge plaque. I thought it would take years to open this up. Nope, months. We did this in nine months, and we can re do, do this for you too. So get the scan and see if you're clogged. So the last scan um, I wanna show you are muscles uh, of different legs, show you how uh, if you're premenopausal, you're a female, you get all that fat deposition, gives you a nice fertile female shape, nice fertile hips, uh, but eventually those nice fertile hips and that, that attractive female uh, figure that you have and larger bottom, that gets replaced and you start getting skinny legs and the fat moves up from your hips and your bottom to your belly. Then, you know, as soon as menopause kicks in, then you get a big belly and you end up having skinny little legs. Guys, same thing happens to you. You start losing, losing uh, uh, your, your fat deposition in your subcutaneous area, and it's just all going into your, your visceral fat. Guys accumulate visceral fat a lot faster and early on than women. So look at the terrible shape that happens uh, to these legs as you age, but it doesn't have to be that way. If you eliminate that visceral fat, you won't have your, your bodies replaced. Now, 
Here's something really important. If you've ever had abdominal CT, you can know what your visceral fat is, but, but you're gonna have to read it because guess what? I have never seen a single abdominal CT scan report that has ever read visceral fat, not one time. I've looked at tens of thousands of abdominal CT reports in my career as an emergency medicine physician, and nobody ever reads visceral fat. Why? Because they're not taught in medical school. They're not taught it in radiology residency programs. It's like this dirty little secret. I'm gonna to get to the bottom of it. But we're gonna start training physicians, and if the physicians aren't gonna do it, health coaches. I'm not playing around anymore. We're gonna take this to health coaches and have them do this because if the practice of medicine is not gonna do it, somebody's gotta do it because people are dying from this chronic disease. You go back and read your CT scan if you've ever seen had a abdominal CT before and you take a look on abdominal CTs, visceral fat or fat in general shows up as black. MRIs it shows up as white, but on a CT it shows up as black. So go pull your CT, look at the image yourself, Go to your hospital system, the doctor, wherever it's done, demand to see, get your images, and you read it. See if you're filled with visceral fat. If visceral fat again shows up as black, you'll be able to see it, and you can, you can have an idea, at least at that point in time, how much visceral fat you have. Well, that's it. I've taken you through these important MRI scans and CT scan, and uh, if you have any additional questions, or if you're interested in working with me, finding out about these more interesting uh, innovative biomarkers to optimize yourself and the strategies necessary to optimize yourself i'd be happy to speak with you click on my contact form and i'll, I'll look forward to uh, being in touch with you thanks very much